reading makes man full as there is a saying some books are to be chewed some are to be swallowed and some are to be digested said by francis bacon with this quote i would like to welcome you all in my channel learn with me so today's essay is on libraries written by oliver sack and it is an autobiographical essay where he talks or he shows his journey his journey of reading started when he was 4 or 5 and in this essay he praises a intellectual freedom community work and ecstasy of serendipitous discovery so library is a place where he get a chance to explore experience and learn more by going through different books let us delve into the oliver journey so his journey started reading journey started when he was 4 or 5 the favorite place of oliver was his oak panel library as he was inspired by his father and mother both of them were voracious reader so he got a chance to read a book along with his parents as his father was a hebrew scholar and mother also was uh, very fond of reading books as she used to read milton book thackeray book as well as uh, bernard shaw so in a similar manner in the beginning he got attracted by a jungle book as well as the character mowgli and then his journey continued as the whenever he was missing in the room whenever his mother used to call for a, a lunch or a dinner he used to be in a library reading books so that was the most memorable or most captivating place for the oliver so the way he has shown a passion towards reading he used to visit wilsdon library public library where he received a real education whenever he used to step into the library he used to assume that he has got a freedom to read any book so that generated a camaraderie skill in him and then later on he went to uh, st paul's school actually he didn't like his school he didn't like school because of the information delivered by the teacher and then fixed structure were all the information used to enter from one year and used to come out from the other so he was least interested he used to think that his real learning was uh, stopped by the regular continuous way of teaching so he needs a freedom or a liberty he was unable to read through his choice but that doesn't mean that he was not interested in studying as he says i was not good pupil but i was good learner he reinforces on that i was not good pupil but i was a uh, good reader as in the uh, essay he says on the whole i dislike school sitting in a class receiving instruction information seems to go in one ear and out by the other i could not be passive so he is reinforcing i am a very ardent i am a very voracious reader so this routine way of learning and teaching is not appealing to oliver so and then he went to st paul school as well as walker library he didn't like his school he shared that and then later on as his journey continued he went to queens college and queens college even after reading different books he comes to know as he was limited to social as well as political books but he identified that he was interested in science and he gone to modulin uh, library where he got a chance to issue different science book and later on he started neuro he became neurologist he was interested and he became a doctor but his journey of reading not ended here he continued as he was attracted by the uh, british writer and he went to british museum library also where he was fascinated by the theoda hook work and that has inspired him to write also as he says uh, theoda hook a man greatly admired in the early 19th century for his wit and his genius for theatrical and musical improvisation i became so fascinated by hook that i decided to write a sort of biography so through reading his books he decided to write a book on theoda hook in that way his writing journey also started that has inculcated the passion towards writing and he continued his journey he was working and even as he used to deal with a different patient his case study turned out to be a writing material for him and 
in 1990s he feels very sad when he visited a library there was a digitalization there was a drastic change in the reading habit and he feels very sad depressed by seeing why people stop reading books going through turning the pages the smell of books gives you a lively feeling that has been shared as the digitalization you don't feel connected according to theoda he says reading books makes people very lively when once they delve they live the character they go through the line so because of the digitalization he feels as if someone is murdering a criminal act has been conducted so he feels that digitalization has created a destruction of centuries of knowledge which was not liked by him and then later on he says in the last lines of his essay uh he was even inspired by edward magram which inspired me to write my own first book oliver sack a writer a neurologist was the author of cover of dozens book and including hallucination awakening was his main renowned book so here in this essay he is re- reinforcing on this line that reading makes man full and he praises the intellectual freedom what students or what readers need a intellectual freedom they have to identify so the reading habit has inculcated the positivity and that helps him to identify his passion and he was able to enshape his vision he became a doctor but he didn't decline his reading passion so he has got a chance to go through different genres book which has uh, enshaped his personality so he encouraged the reader don't if there is no bookshelf in your home keep a bookshelf with the books as they is saying don't judge the book by its cover so when you turn the pages it will add a value in your life he passed away on 30th august 2015 leaving a footprint for the other readers he inspired others by giving a passion towards reading because it helps us to explore experience different people's journey as well as to write about his own journey or her journey so now it's time for question answer session the most probable question that you can get in your exams are like for example number 1 where could the author be found when he was late for lunch or a dinner so on library bisac talks about the libraries and freedom one gets visiting them So whenever he was missing he used to be found in the quietest and the most favorite place of Oliver that is library. He used to delve in a uh, reading different books written by different writers that becomes a passion. So he has reflected that how he was a voracious as well as passionate reader. In a similar manner the second question what are his first memories? in uh, on libraries the author talks about his first memories the memories of reading books in the library of his home are his first memories and his journey started by reading jungle book as well as he was attracted by the mogli character so oliver was very inquisitive keen and observed in in different books and his favorite room was library in his home so he even used to be late in a lunch or a dinner as he was found to be totally involved or engaged in the books he learned to read early in the morning at 4 or 5 o'clock the beautiful oak panel library and books are his first memories the library and the books in the library have stricken him so much he could not forget them they remained so lasting in his memory so he remembered even his first memory and next question this is a very important question why did he dislike school in the essay on library sex talk about the freedom of education and learning he says he dislike school or he didn't like school because he didn't like to obey the instructions from the teacher he gained better information knowledge exploring books in the libraries than that from the school he didn't want to be passive he says he want to be an active as he confidently says that he was a 
good learner, not a good pupil. So he used to get an excellent lesson from the libraries before the teachers taught in the class. He was not a good student, was a better learner. He developed a learning habit from a very beginning of his child days. So learning or reading in the library would give him an ample pleasure. He disliked school because it was a forced teaching or forced learning. No free freedom was given. So that's the reason in the essay he is uh, reinforcing on the intellectual freedom. He want to reinforce on intel intellectual freedom as well as community because once you step in the library, you get chance to see different people. So community work, intellectual freedom as well as discovering of different characters, different uh, incident or events going through the different books makes him more lively. Thank you. I hope you all are enjoying learning with me. Do like, comment and share. Thank you.